going to do something a little different. Well, I actually, I did this before when I was uh, staying up at Sandy's in Washington, showing you various meals that I have over the course of, I don't know whether it be a week or two weeks, I'm not sure. But um, it is lunchtime. Well, it's past lunchtime. It's like two o'clock. And I have some spinach that needs used up. It has an expiration date and um, it's a little bit, few days past. And I have mushrooms that I bought a few days ago and haven't even cracked open yet. And I've got garlic. So I thought, wow, it's a, a cool day, as in temperature, cool. And I thought, well, I'm just going to make up some spinach, mushrooms, and garlic for a yummy, healthy meal. Right now, I'm just sauteing the garlic a little bit. You know, olive oil would be better, uh, but this is all I have. And I'm all about whatever you have, use it. And then we'll just chop up these mushrooms real quick. And I saute them for a minute. Then I'm gonna put the spinach in. And I'm gonna put a lid on and cook the spinach for a minute. And then it says to flip the spinach and I'll cook it another minute on the other side. And then we will have a yummy lunch. Whether I'll still be hungry or not after this is to be determined. But there you have it. I'll show you different meals that I make here in Rocky Pine Retreat. Hope you This meal is just about done. A couple more minutes, we'll be eating. Look how yummy, guys. Woo. Yeah, let's throw the spinach in now. Literally, probably use, I don't know, about a half a bag. I know spinach cooks down really nice. It seems to take the stems off when it's the thicker. This is more like the mini. I don't know. Maybe we'll take some stems off and we'll leave some on. We'll just put a little bit more in here. Just a little bit more like we do. Yum. And then maybe I'll have the remainder of this spinach for a power drink at a different time in my lovely Nutribullet. I don't have a lid that actually covers this pan. So beautiful, made in the USA. You can find them in the you can find them in the Amazon store. And this is Linda with Serene and Simple Life. I'm not sure that I told you that. <laughs> so we're stirring it around, getting the oil on. Yum. Some of you have been worried about the backdrop here, uh, the wood. No worries. I'm not splashing. And it wipes down nice. So it's all good. So there you have it. So now we'll put the lid on and we'll just eat. Eh, the lid doesn't quite cover it, that's okay. We'll be ready to eat here in another minute or two. I think I'll get out, let's see, what kind of bowl do I want to eat from today? How about, how about this bowl? I have four bowls to choose from plus plastic. How about this bowl? One minute, flip the spinach. And then cook it another minute and it'll be a yummy meal. I just yeah. flipped, flipped, flip, flip. Ooh, nice, huh? Yeah, pretty. I'm not sure if I should put some seasoning on this or not. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe I'll do this 24 herbs and spices. I don't know, I can't ruin it, right? I'll just sprinkle a little bit on. I'm not really a seasoning girl, as I've mentioned before. So stir, stir, stir. And ready to eat in another minute. Stay tuned, keep watching for more quick and simple, serene and simple meals. Yay. There you have it. Lunchtime. Quick and easy, simple and serene. Lunch brunch here peanut butter on a rice cake and roasted pine nut on some celery.
add a over easy egg with grits and an English muffin for breakfast, which was around nine. And it is now 12.33, ready for a little light lunch. Lunch time again, another simple meal. Sitting here on my lovely porch, show you here. This is the inexpensive iceberg lettuce with the <laughs> few pieces of cabbage. I think there's supposed to be carrot in here. Oh yeah, there's one carrot, awesome. Mushrooms, feta cheese, a couple slices of turkey that I needed to eat up, and uh, a garlic oil vinegar type dressing. Got a tortilla here. I may wrap some salad in the tortilla. Just really enjoying myself here on this porch. And I am... Let's not forget the green olives. Yum. All gone. Sorry I didn't save you any. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you can come over and enjoy the view with me if you like. I am stuffed. Back in the day, a salad like that would not have stuffed me. All the way around. What a blessing. Mid-morning here in Rocky Pine Retreat, that would be 10.35, getting around to my brunch breakfast, which just happens to be some beautiful five-minute oatmeal. I'm going to go back to the one-minute stuff. <laughs> but I had a little bit left over in a Ziploc. I don't know why, I just... And the grains are pretty big, so I'm not used to that. I'm going to turn this down just a bit. I think we have like three more minutes on this. And we're going to add some super seed. I guess around a teaspoon. This is really yummy. Yep. Life is better when you eat better. Our company was founded in 2007 with a simple goal. Make high quality foods available to you at a great value. With that mission in mind, we have traveled the world to find the best food, package it using the highest standard and deliver it to you at the best price. Better Body Foods. You can find this in my Amazon store too. Awesome, powerful punch. Omega-3, smoothies, soups, yogurts, baking. Then I'm going to add some cranberries. Just cracking these open now. Haven't had those in ages, which would probably be a year or two. And then add a teaspoon of honey and maybe some banana. And we're talking healthy and simple. Stir, stir, stir. So it doesn't stick. Yay! Super seed, super seed, stir, stir, stir. Yum! Not sure if I'm going to add the banana or not. I'm going to do a little taste test first. Looking good! Breakfast time now. Funny how that happens. Whipping up a little omelet here. I sauteed the last of some mushrooms that were about to expire. And now we're gonna scramble up the egg. Try to make it into an omelet. I only use one egg, so it's pretty thin. Yep, one egg, some mushrooms. I'm gonna add a little cheese and bacon bits to this. Get this rolling here. And I'll sh 
show you the finished here in a minute. Toasting up a English muffin in this wonderful convection oven. And there's the brand. And we're on our way. And it looks like it's almost ready to flip here. Just moving it around a little bit. The unprofessional that I am here. So I think we'll add the mushrooms. Yum! Lots of mushrooms. A little egg with your mushrooms today. I don't really like mushroom juice. Okie dokie. A little bit of bacon bits. This is kind of a first. I don't normally add bacon with my mushrooms, but we're just using what we have. That's what this is all about here. Just a little dabble do ya. And then how about some cheese? And we'll try to flip this baby. Cheese, 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 cheese. I don't know, should we use up the cheese? Yeah, we'll use up the cheese. So that's that. And now comes the make it into an omelet. Ah, here we go. Come on, baby. Woo! I guess we call that restaurant style, huh? Turn the oven off, I mean the stove off. Yep. And slide this baby onto the plate. Come on over and I'll share half of it with you. Woo, nice. I love when that happens. Get the English muffin out. Here we are. Do a little butter on this, real butter. Yum. And sit down with my coffee and Get on with the day. It's about 10 o'clock. I probably won't eat again till three or four. That's how that goes. Nothing like a simple meal. Put in a full day of working on videos today and yesterday. Whoo, I'm tired of talking, if you can believe that. This looks yummy. You put in a half a cup of water. Oops, I spilled a little bit. And it will be ready in 12 minutes. Come and get it. Oh my, it's another Walmart haul. I have no other words for this. $157. A lot of the same, a few treats. I'm gonna be celebrating my uh, grandkids' birthdays with some treats. <laughs> Uh, some fish fillets I haven't had in a long time. Oh my gosh, haven't bought these in a while. What else do we got here? I'm just shaking it up. Oh yeah, two ice cream because I'm hitting up uh, the grocery store every two, two and a half weeks now. Milk, chips. I don't know, maybe that'll be dinner. And these are new. I've had them, but not for 10 years. Tomato, Caesar salad. What we got here? Just a little bit more. A quick go-to. I love these. They're like comfort food. Uh, a couple fillers for my pantry. Creamy mushroom. More of my fancy plates, coffee, ginger ale, more celebratory treats, <laughs> some cranberry, dollar bread. I haven't bought this in ages. Oh my gosh, once I get started on that, forget it. Here we've got guacamole, yum, bananas, Ziplocs. I broke down and bought some good freezer bags now. I'm freezing some rice and beans. Do you all do that? 
waffles, haven't bought these in ages, macaroni salad. I used to buy this on the road, this was fun. And we've got buttermilk, I'm gonna make potato pancakes again. Half and half for the coffee, I don't always buy, I hardly ever buy that. Yogurt for my smoothies and for my power drinks. Walmart was out of these the last two times I were there. I was there. I don't know what that's about. More ginger ale. I never buy this big size, but since I'm shopping less, I figured why not? And then we've got bologna, the good stuff. This is comfort food. Eggs. Oh my gosh, guys. And look, thank you. Thank you, you beautiful person out there. Two more of the um, Lazy Susan so I can get rid of that uh, array of baskets and maybe be able to fit things nicer on the bottom or on the top shelf now. So I'll have four total. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. And then I stopped at the Dollar Tree. This is going to be a basket I'm going to put on top of the dryer. And uh, just a couple randoms. So that'll about do her for today. I think this food haul depicted uh, simple eating quite well. While I'm putting away the rest of the groceries, I made a decision going to have a piece of fish that I thawed the other day. Comes in a big old bag. And then I just thaw one piece at a time. I just bought these, yum, was out of green beans. Never want to run out of those. And this is my seasoning. I'll have a little bit of bread, probably add some applesauce and that'll be about it for today. So hope you enjoyed the food haul mixed in with the quick and simple meals that I make and uh, put in the comments, what kinds of things do you like to eat? Blessings in your day and joy in your simple meals. It all fits. I have too much bread that I have frozen. I forget that I buy it and freeze it and then I accumulate bread. And yep, my entertainment, not going anywhere. <laughs> And celebrations, nice and neat back here, some ground meat. I had already had these except for this, is I just added to the mix here. So I've got hamburger patties and turkey patties in here and some sausage, it's all nice and neat. And then down below, I've got the beans, big old bag of beans and I've got a big old bag of rice. Well, no, I online someone it said to freeze your beans to get rid of little whatevers. And then these I just bought. This is the fish I'm having for dinner tonight, the cod skinless fillets. More rice back there. These will be nice to mix up with uh, rice or veggie, or yeah, rice or noodles. And maybe a can of chicken or tuna for my smoothies. And then lastly, some garlic bread from before. This goes in the front here and Got a nice old ham here I'm excited about. I don't normally buy stuff like this. Kentucky Legend. Yeah. So that'll about do it. Later. He is believing. Yum.